In this video, I'm going to take a look at the cool new features in the alpha version of Rapid Photo Downloader. If you've never heard of Rapid Photo Downloader, it's this great Linux photography application that automates the process of downloading your photos. And what I mean by that is I can just plug in my memory card and after I've set all my preferences, generally all I have to do is click download. A little pop-up window will appear. I can type in a description of what I want the photos to be renamed to and it'll automatically create a folder, a subfolder, and rename all the images in the folders how I want them with a date at the front, a description, a number at the end, and so on. And that's really important to me. Um, I have large photo collections and it's really important that the photos are named accordingly. Um, so I love this application. Um, I actually donate uh, a portion of the sales from my open source photography course uh, to a couple different open source projects and Rapid Photo Downloader is one of them. Uh, so I was really happy when the, de the developer showed up on the uh, pixels.us forum and mentioned that a new alpha version was available and that there's a ton of new features in it. Now, if you're familiar with the current stable version of Rapid Photo Downloader, you're going to look at this and you're going to see that right away. This is a major change. Like this is a serious overhaul. Um, I really wasn't expecting this much of a difference. Um, so just right away, if you look, you're going to see the thumbnails are bigger now, uh, which I think is really cool. Um, it's also easier to see um, the different file types. So you can see this uh, green here is NEF, which is a raw file type. And then the blue JPEG, uh, right away, it's easy to tell uh, what file type is which. Um, you have more options now. You could click on a thumbnail and you could right click and you could say um, open it in your file manager if you needed to for a reason and you know copy the image from there if you wanted to or so on. Um, I could hover over an image and a, a little pop-up will appear. I see the current file name. I see the date. It gives me some information about the file size. I know how large that image is. Uh, very cool stuff. Below that, down at the bottom, um, I have more options to sort the images now. Um, so if I wanted to uh, sort by extension and just group all the raw photos together, I could do that. Um, if I want to go by modification time, um, right now I chose check state because uh, I wanted to show up at the top here. Um, you see some of these thumbnails, they're faded out and they don't have a check in their checkbox. And that's because those photos were already downloaded. Uh, so the application remembers that and just ignores it by default. Um, if I wanted to hide those images, I could come down to the bottom left here. Instead of show all, I could go to just show new. And now just the new images that haven't been downloaded are up, uh, which is great. I'm just going to go back to all. Up in the top left, uh, you're going to see the memory card that I have plugged in uh, just for an old Nikon camera here. And it gives me some info here. I, I see how there's a four, big, uh, four gigabyte memory card. Um, there's 62 photos. It's taking up about 584 megabytes. Um, very helpful. And uh, from what I've read, you can actually now plug in multiple memory cards at the same time and then download them all at once. And that's very cool. Um, I'm really looking forward to that because I shoot with multiple cameras. I generally have one with like a, a telephoto lens and a different one with a wider lens. So I'll be able to plug in both memory cards at the same time and download them at once. Sounds awesome. But even better than that, below that is I think the coolest new feature. And this is the timeline. Um, you could hide it here by clicking on the little tab. Um, but it should be open by default. And so I can click on a date or, you know, kind of a time frame here and only all those images are going to show up uh, here. And I think I just go, you know, download and just download those ones, uh, which sounds awesome. Um, I, I could control click and add uh, more images. So, you know, we're just showing from those dates or I could just go back to the one or show all the images. Um, you'll even be able to adjust the date range with the slider down here. So right now it's set to an hour. You could increase or decrease that. But I think that's very cool. Um, I think it's something unique to Rapid Photo Downloader. I haven't seen that anywhere else. So I'm really looking forward to um, working with that. And you can see there's a little thumbnail uh, preview starting to show up if I hover over top of it. Um, very cool stuff. Over in the top right, uh, gives me, um, well, in the whole right panel, it gives me information about the destination, where these photos are going. Again, I could hide that by clicking on destination. So right at the top, this is new again, storage space. So it shows me how large uh, my hard drive is, uh, how full it is. And I could see again, okay, I'm downloading 51 photos. It takes up this much space. And my hard drive is used up that much. Um, I think that's very cool. 
Um, personally, I would prefer to see how much uh, space is free on my hard drive as opposed to used. I think that would be a little more relevant. Uh, but either way, I, I love seeing that up at the top there. That's great. Um, you can see, and I think you can come in here and manipulate uh, the exact destination folder and subfolder from here. That's awesome. Um, I don't work with video a lot, but you have that option as well. Uh, so again, this is just the alpha version. Uh, this is in no way complete. If you want to use Rapid Photo Downloader, definitely go get the stable version. Uh, but if you want to play around and try new things, um, you can you know, download the alpha version and, and quickly check it out. But you'll notice right away if I try to go to the preferences, I think it, it won't even come up. Yeah, so the GUI hasn't been written yet. Um, same with the other important options like the rename, job code. Uh, nothing comes up yet. Um, apparently all the stuff under the hood has been written, uh, just the, the GUI on top hasn't been written yet. Um, so there's still a ways to go, um, but I love being able to get a little sneak peek on this, uh, seeing how the application is coming along. If you want to try it out and file some bug reports, you can. Uh, otherwise, if you've never checked it out, um, I definitely recommend uh, giving Rapid Photo Downloader a try. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel and click the like button below. If you'd like to learn more, please consider purchasing the open source photography course available at rileybrandt.com slash lessons. More information about the course and links to all my social media sites can be found in the description below.